Hi everybody. I just wanted to sit and talk with you today around using cold form buildings for residential buildings. You'll know from a previous video that we covered such things as linings and additional weight for the roof and walls. But today I want to talk about your customers' expectations when you're providing them a quote on a cold form building. You need to be very clear with your customers who are intending to use the cold form building for residential, that you are providing the structural component of that. When it comes to residential buildings, and as you can see in this photo, there are often many things that need designed using the residential building code that are just simply not covered by the structural. Things like kitchens, things like windows, insulation in terms of the thermal component of a job, stairways, all of these need design by an architect or a suitably qualified person. When you sell a building to be used as residential, you are providing one part of that building. There are a number of other parts that, need, that the customer will need to obtain. Now, it's also fair to say that there are building departments that will accept the ACT plans and they'll approve it based simply on that. However, there are many departments who require a lot more information, especially as it relates to the residential building code. And just to clarify, we do not design to the residential building code, we design to the structural codes and that needs incorporated with somebody who's designed to the residential building code. If we have a look at the ACT system, and you're all familiar with that, of course, so let's have a look here. I want to show you something in the agreement that actually protects you. Now, while I think it's a good idea that you point out to your customer exactly what they're going to need to do around residential, it's good to know that you have the backup of the agreement as well. Now, this might be a typical residential building that you're quoting for somebody. And if you use the contract available in Act Dimensions through File, Create Contract, and then you choose either the contract or the super quote, then as part of that, and I'll bring it across onto the screen now, there are terms and conditions. Obviously, you all know the super quote, or well, most of you should know the super quote, which has a lot of information in terms of sales to help you just get the customer to sign on the dotted line and buy that building. But when it comes to the actual important part of the agreement, of course, you have the contract or the agreement, the building component sales agreement. Now, this is our suggestion as to what you use. It's by no means the only way that you can do this. And you can create your own agreement inside Act Dimensions and have it populate with the information you want. And if you want more help regarding that, just reach out to support at actbuildingsystems.com. But in terms of what we have regarding residential, if you look at number 10 construction, you'll find the last two sentences here, which talk about this steel building is not designed using residential codes. The purchaser is responsible to seek additional advice from a suitably qualified personal entity for intended residential use. That says it all. Remember, you provide the structural component of a residential building. You may not provide all that is needed by the building department. I hope that helps you today. Act Building Systems, here to make it easy.